Today in the workshop, I want to talk to you about table saws. DeWalt recently redesigned three table saws, small, medium, and large. You know, when I first started out as a carpenter, I did everything with a circular saw and a straight edge, because that's all I could afford. DeWalt has three different types of table saws. A small one is great for portability. There's a mid-range one that sets up on a scissor stand. And then the one I want to talk to you about today is their DWE 7491RS. It's their 10-inch rolling stand table saw. It's the Cadillac of the three. It's the big boy. And it's 90 pounds. It's not to be reckoned with. It's a serious saw. And we got to play with it. And we've been using it on the job site. We love it. A lot of features, a lot of things I want to talk to you about, a couple things I didn't like about it as well. Let's get going on this. So, first of all, 15 amp saw, it takes, it takes some decent juice, 4,800 RPMs on this thing. DeWalt looked at this thing and they designed all these really cool safety features, which to me mean a lot. I'm not a huge fan of this, you know, flesh uh, sensing technology and this crap that they're trying to push on job site saws. The, the weight alone and the cost alone is prohibitive. But I think DeWalt came up with the solution. They've got four or five things that they did to this saw that make it a very safe saw when used with common sense. First of all, power loss reset. They redesigned the saw so that if the, the cord is unplugged, the power is lost, lost for whatever reason, or maybe you just, you know, you blow the circuit, trip the circuit. When you plug the saw back in, or you turn the power back on, the saw does not go back on the switch automatically switches to off. Now as a result of that, they had to redesign their switch. I was a huge fan of DeWalt's switch. The red, the old red paddle that you could pull out and push in. I just knew where it was. I just, I didn't have to look for it. It was just there. Well, they redesigned that. You now have to push the start button to start it because it's electronic. You know, you have to give and, give and take a little bit with safety. This is a safety improvement. Uh, it's just gonna take some getting used to but I like the whole idea of the power loss reset. The blade guard and the riving knife. The blade guard, never been a fan of blade, blade guards, but they redesigned it so it can come on and off with a lever up front. You're not, you don't have to lean over the blade. It's hands and, uh, it's not hands free, it's tools free. And the riving knife is awesome. Again, tools free, the lever, you can lift it in and out. And the riving knife goes up and down with the blade, really sweet. The fence system has a flip over option. It's a flip over fence, and it allows you to actually rip small and narrow boards with the guard on. So, you know, if the, ex the old excuse was, I always take my guard off because I can't rip narrow pieces, now you can. DeWalt has thought that through and given you a solution to that problem. Real nice job. Dust collection. You know, inhaling all this nasty dust. They've always given you a two and a half inch port at the bottom with a motor and the blade spin out and you can collect dust there. In addition, the blade guard has an inch and a half port as well. So you get dual dust collection. You're collecting dust on the top and the bottom. The best way to do it, right? So they've thought all this through and they've given you some really nice job site safety features that are affordable and not crazy off the, off the charts like flesh sensing technology. So that's, that's what I think about safety. Real nice job, DeWalt. Let's talk about the fence. I've always, always advocated the DeWalt fence. The rack and pinion fence is awesome. The, it telescopes out, so it's a small compact you know, parcel. It fits within the table, but then it telescopes out. You can cut up to 32 and a half inches to the right side of the saw. You, get, you can rip. And that's huge when making cabinets or doing some sort of sheet good stuff. And then if you want to cut to the left, you can, but you're only going to be able to get 22 inches. Still pretty good. Depth of cut. You're going to get three and a half inch, um, three, I'm sorry, three and an eighth inch depth of cut on the saw blade. And when you go to 45 inches, you're going to get two and a quarter at 45 inch blade. The, um, the table saw will accept a 3 16 13 16 dado, but it does not come with a dado plate, which is kind of a bummer. Cadillac saw, no dado plate. I mean, it, it should be there, it should be stored on board, and I don't know, to me, that's a no-brainer. The accessories. Um, you know, the push stick, miter gauge that has the T-slot that locks in. You know, all that stuff is great. Tons of plastic. I hate seeing the plastic. It just seems you know, cheap to me, and I realize they do it to, to keep the weight down. It's already a saw that weighs 90 pounds with the stand. So, 
everything, I guess the good thing is everything stores underneath and everything locks in and secures. The um, blade guard comes off and cradles into a storage compartment with a lever and that's not really, that doesn't seem as secure as the rest of the stuff. I'm kind of skeptical on the blade guard storage. The, um, the rolling stand, the rolling stand is awesome. It takes seconds to set up. It's got just these two little levers that you open the, the top, you know, the, the top legs and then the bottom legs have foot levers, which is really convenient, you know, to bend down. And then you just tilt the stand up and they cant out at an angle and they really give good stability, including when you're cutting a full four by eight sheet of plywood. Great stability on the saw. So I love the stand. I love the whole idea of it and how it unfolds. It, it wheels around beautifully. And it has become our go-to saw on the job site. We really like it. It's, it's a, like I said, it's the Cadillac of the three. It's the big boy. Real nice. The safety features alone make this a, a, a no-brainer for a saw just on the job site. If you're an owner of a company or you're looking to buy your first big saw purchase, take a look at this one. It's a DWE 7491RS. I'm Rob Robillard. We'll see you at the next review. Take care.